I've been getting kind of used to living life without you. I gotta tell you, it's better than I ever thought. If there was one thing I missed the most about you, it is your cooking skills, mom. I missed your food. It is normal, especially if you are not used to their own pattern of food. I'm glad you like it. Did you just... Thank you, my son. Don't worry, I will cook more food for you. This is the same way your dad loves my food. Speaking of dad, where is he? I haven't seen him ever since I woke up. He rushed to the company very early this morning. He won't be back until evening. You can go there and see him later in the day. I don't feel like going. You have to learn to be at the company at all times because he will soon retire and you will take over. I don't think I am ready for it. I hope he doesn't retire soon. You don't have a choice, Felix. That will be your company soon, so you need to find your wife and then get used to the things happening in the company. I will go there later in the evening, but for now, I need some rest. Yes, sir. I've been getting kind of used to living life without you. I gotta tell you, it's better than I ever thought it could be. I could say I miss you, but that would be untrue. And I'm being Baby, I think this time I come to your village with my people so that the traditional rites will be conducted. That's right. But the problem is, I have not discussed it with my parents yet. The engagement is still very fresh, and I haven't been able to talk to them. Did you just say the engagement is still fresh? You are the one getting all worked up about getting married. And now that the opportunity is here, you feel so relaxed. It's not like that now. I tried talking to my dad the other day, but he was so busy. Same with my mom. I will come them this evening. Please, you have to talk to them as soon as possible. My parents are busy too. I will take you to see them by next week. Wow. I can't wait to meet my future father and mother-in-law. I just pray they should like me. What is there not to like? You're a very wonderful and loving person. My mom is a simple person too. You both will get along easily. How are your sisters? I hope I get along with them too. Don't worry, they will all like you. All you have to do now is to find a way and talk to your parents. Or better still, go to the village and see them. I will do that, my love. I don't mean, but I learned all that from you. Don't want to go back and forth when I know I deserve much more. Ooh. Good evening to you too. Oh, I think I know you. You are the guy that come to take Annabelle out the other day. Yes, I came to take her out. We are you the one that peeped through the window. Sorry for my manners. I was only curious to know the person she was going out with. It's alright. Then that makes you a good friend. You can say that again. Thank you so much. I already called Annabelle. She told me to wait for her here. I was even about to tell you she's not at home. I called her before coming. So what is your name? My name is Lucy. I know your name already. You are Felix, right? I can see you and your friend have talked a lot about me. Yes, my name is Felix. And you have a lovely name. Thanks to you. So what can I offer you? No, don't bother yourself. I'll just wait for her to arrive. I believe she's already on her way. Chai, see person picking. See us here, fine. I wish she's here for me. I really like this guy. Ooh, I don't wanna fall in love Babe, how far now? Oh, Bella, you are back. I thought you said you would return tomorrow. Well, I had no reason to stay there anymore, so I had to come back. And you told me you weren't feeling well, so I became worried. So when did you return? Not too long, Sha. But when I came back, you were sleeping. So I decided to wait for you to wake up. How are you feeling now? My dear, I am not getting any better. I just want to sleep all day. When did all this start? I don't even know. You know how it is when malaria wants to start. It will give you faint symptoms, then it will grow to something else. Sorry dear, don't worry. I will get you some drugs at the hospital. I already went to the pharmacy this evening, but it was closed. So I came back. I will go back again this evening. Is Dominic aware of this? Yes, he came to check on me this morning. He promised to come back when he closes from work. Don't worry, you will be fine. There is a hospital close by. We can quickly go there to know how far the malaria has gone. So you would know the kind of drugs to take. Is it even necessary? I think there is one drug to cure malaria no matter what stage it is. 
No, dear. Your face looks pale, which means it might have gone deeper. Let's go for checkup. All right, dear. Back in some bad sticks, I know what it means to be happy now. I jumped off your merry go round. I don't want to believe what the doctor said, Rita. Tell me it is not true. Say something to clarify this. Well, you heard the doctor. He said it clearly. I am two weeks pregnant. What more do you want me to say? But Rita, I thought we agreed to keep ourselves for the men that will eventually marry us. It is not my fault, Bella. I was just desperate to get married to Dominic. Or should I say, make him marry me. So you slept with Dominic? No, I slept with Henry. What? You slept with your ex? How could you be so loose, Rita? What is wrong with you? Don't you dare call me loose, Bella. You are not better than me. Now look at the mess you have put yourself into. How do you intend to tell Dominic you are pregnant for your ex? I will not tell Dominic anything. What are you saying, Rita? You called me the other day to tell me Dominic proposed to you. What do you intend to do with this pregnancy? I will abort it, of course. If I had known Dominic would propose to me soon enough, I wouldn't have gone back to Henry. But it was just a one-time stuff. I am not included with this. You better let Dominic know the truth. I will not participate or support you to abort an innocent child. Madam Holier than thou, I will abort this child myself. I don't need your help. <laughs> you will never stop to amaze me, Felix. You are such a funny guy. Thank you for always making me laugh. I enjoy your company more than anything on earth. I always feel so happy whenever I'm with you. Oh, you have made me blush a thousand times already today. I really like you, Felix. I don't really like you, Annabelle. I'm in love with you. I can't stop thinking about you. If I don't hear your voice for a day, then I won't be happy for the rest of the day. Ah, uh, I didn't know God would lead me to a man that is so good with words. I'm not good with words. I only tell you how I really feel. Annabelle, I don't want to be your friend anymore. I want to be more than friends with you. Are you serious? And I don't want to be in a relationship with you. I want to marry you immediately. Are you proposing to me? Yes, dear. Please do me the honor of being my wife. I don't want to waste time in being in a relationship. When I see the woman I love, I make it official without thinking twice. You are the one I want. Yes, Felix. I love you and I will marry you. Baby, are you okay? I saw Bella in the sitting room. She told me you are in the bedroom. Yes. Are you just closing from work? Yes, dear. I was worried all through the day, especially when you told me you were sick. You don't have to worry, dear. I'm a big girl. I can take care of myself. How are you feeling now? Have you taken drugs? I can get you some drugs if you want. No, don't bother yourself. I bought some malaria drugs already. But baby, you should go to the hospital to know what exactly is wrong. We don't have to stay at home and guess what is wrong. Don't worry, dear. I already went for checkup. The doctor confirmed it's malaria and he prescribed some drugs for me. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I pray so, because seeing you in a pitiful form like this is one thing I hate the most. You're just worrying yourself too much. Relax. Your baby will be fine. Okay, if you say so. I already told my parents about you. My mom is very eager to see you and she's happy about the news. I can't wait to see her too, but we have to postpone the date. Let's wait until I get better. So Felix, you said you have something to tell us. Hopefully, something that will make us happy. I'm curious to know what that could be. But please, in everything you want to say, don't tell us you want to leave Nigeria again. <laughs> no, mom. I will not leave Nigeria anymore. This is my country. I am happy to be here. That is good. So what do you want to tell us? Dad, you remember our first conversation when I returned to Nigeria? We said so many things, but I don't know the one you are talking about. Remember you said you were disappointed since I returned alone. You were hoping I would return with my fiancé. You and your dad had such conversation. Lawrence, I thought you were not really interested if your son would stay single forever. Well, I didn't care, but he is not getting any younger. As a caring father, I am. I have to be worried. And you remember what I said? I told you I will marry an African queen. I will marry from my culture. And guess what? I found a wife already. You found a wife? Wow. This is what I have waited for so long to hear from you. Who is she? And why haven't you brought her home yet? I wanted to discuss with you both first. You have done well, my son. You are the real son of your father. Thank you, dad. So when do you think you'll be free for me to bring her over? Just fix a date and we will be there. Thanks, dad.
Baby, for you have been sitting here for quite a while now. Are you okay? Do you know what your problem is? You will never mind your business in this house. You must meddle. I'm not meddling now. I am only concerned you have been sitting here for an hour now and you seem worried. It's not like I am worried. I am just missing someone. Missing someone, okay? Don't tell me you are missing Felix, someone that left barely an hour ago. So what if I miss him? Is it a crime? No, but you seem to have fallen for this guy. Annabelle, the love is written all over your face. You can't blame me, Lucy. I didn't know I would fall for him so easily. It is very hard for me to ask him for money. Me, that was a hard girl. I'm really surprised to hear this. So finally, someone captured my best friend's heart. I am happy to hear this. Thank you, dear. He proposed to me. He asked me to marry him. He did what? Don't tell me you accepted his proposal. Of course I did. Is there a problem with that? We both love each other, so what is there to delay? But it's all sudden now. You don't even know him. Allow me to worry about that. I love him and I will marry him. What kind of problem is this now? Why does this pregnancy have to happen now? This is a very wrong timing. How I wish that Dominic of a guy agreed to sleep with me, even if he's just once. I wouldn't think of aborting an innocent child. All this is his fault. How come he decided to propose to me when I'm already pregnant for another man? I'm in this mess because of him. I only wanted to get pregnant and force him to sleep with me so I can pin the pregnancy on him and force him to marry me. If I had known, I would have just waited a little bit longer. Well, there's no two ways about it. I will abort this child. But first of all, I have to inform Henry about it. Is it even necessary? This is complicated things. Let me just tell him, Sha. After all, he's the father of the child.